And I'm back again. I, I took last week off just because it was Christmas and and we were my family was busy doing other stuff so I didn't have time to vlog. But now I'm back and uh, for this vlog I uh, want to talk about uh, autistic people and groups of people like I found this article online about why people with Asperger's are so awkward around other people I'll put a link down below to to this article uh, but it says that uh, like non-autistic people or or neurotypicals as they're also called they see safety in numbers but autistic people see th uh, threat <laughs> threats is a, another word I have trouble saying but when uh, autistic people see groups of people it it says that uh, this causes adrenaline overload and a flight or fight re reaction. So for some autistic people, they want to flee uh, and get away from the group because they they are just so overwhelmed by people or other one or for other people they become awkward and stiff and antisocial and for uh, other autistic, autistic people they actually kind of switch personalities almost it, it, like it says they go into performance performance mode and they can seem like a, a whole different person for a short period of time uh, when, when they're around other people uh, but but the, this article goes in uh, to saying that it's the performances that some autistic people get aren't legit like they're just a, a smoke screen so yeah, it was because they can't keep keep the performance up for long times uh, and they, they eventually just become exhausted and they must retreat from other people and be alone. Uh, and yeah, for me, I would rather be alone or in a really big group so then I could blend in because I'm one of those uh, people who want to get away from the group or if it's like a big group like like an uh, auditorium full of people a uh, big audience I, I can just get into the audience and just blend in and and hopefully no one will notice me so uh, so I don't don't have to do any social interactions because it is that, that that's really what I've done for a lot of my life is just like blend into the background uh, and not not stick out to people so, so I don't have to interact with them that that's 
uh, usually what I do. Then back to this article, it, it also talked about sensory overload and and uh, how it's a part of so many uh, aut autism spectrum disorders. And uh, I, I made another video about that and my experiences, so I, I'm not gonna go into to, uh, great detail here. But it does say that if autistic people don't have a meltdown, then we're not going to be relaxed enough or, or, or enough of ourselves in environments that have a lot of uh, sensory uh, overload. Like for me, it's with strobe lights, like just looking at those can make me feel dizzy and then I'm certainly not going to be relaxed and not going to want to interact with other people uh, when there's strobe lights going on or or really loud music that, that can affect me to certain types of music. So yeah, yeah, the surroundings can also play a part uh, in uh, autistic people's social interactions or lack of social interactions. And then this article ends with how um, a lot of the times autistic people don't have good facial recognition and and we have patchy memories. So with some, they can't remember who a person is uh, by looking at them right away, but, but, which is the case for me. They, uh, I see someone and they look very familiar, but I can't uh, remember where I've seen them. And, and then, and maybe by the time we realize who that person is, it's too late to say hello and start a conversation. So yeah, yeah, the, the, a lot of this is the case for me and probably for a, a lot of uh, uh, other autistic people. So yeah, I would, I would, definitely prefer to be alone rather than with people. So yeah, th this article really does highlight a lot of my experiences with uh, other people and my interactions with groups and why I'm so awkward. So yeah, yeah. The, that's my experiences with groups of people, uh, and and you, you can feel free to read this article in the link below, and and uh, and until next video, goodbye.